Des, King of the Pit TV, you for today, we're not on this low, listening to the full record. This one is the title Live Free. And with the title of this record, uh, I would recommend searching Live Free in uh, into YouTube and finding the account called Live Free. There's a person, uh, <laughs> there's a person who goes around and audits police officers and so forth. He basically just goes to police stations and so forth and just annoys them and sees how they react and sort of, you know, asks them questions uh, which may or may not be important for the people, you know, to hold uh, the coppers accountable and responsible. And obviously, you know, we're listening to Hardcore today, so I'd recommend you check that channel out because it is entertaining and... You know, the fella's a working class head who's doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Applying a little bit of pressure in the right direction instead of always on us. So, shout out to Live Free, the channel. This tune's entitled Live Free. Let's jump straight in. I want to live free, I won't settle for this mediocrity. Come on! Kinda metal that. If you listen to these stabs and that chugging, that's quite a metal riff. Metal. good uh, a little qualm i have though um i say this when i can because if there's any musicians or lyric writers in there i just want to add my uh, little perspective on lyric writing uh, i write songs uh, i've written a lot plenty of hardcore songs to be honest plenty of metal songs as well and i've done this before but uh, taking a deep dive into you know the psychology of songwriting and stuff we're having a conversation so if i want to engage if i'm a writer songwriter and i want to engage with the audience um and this is like hardcore 101 every hardcore band does this and i don't necessarily agree with it um it's what i've experienced in this tune let me just go back and pay attention to a line or two Because you sit complacent, right? Because they sit complacent. We need to talk about them and they and the other people. If I'm having a conversation with you, I'm not going to be there saying you are complacent. You are. What are you going to feel towards me if I keep saying you're a bad person? You need to do this, you need to do that. So as a lyric writer, it's best to have a third party to point the finger at as far as like negative connotations and stuff. Because you don't want to write a record where you're just slagging off the listener and saying you're a bad person, you're this, you're that. And it goes with all of the bands because every hardcore band on planet Earth writes their first songs like, I hate you, you're the worst, blah de blah de blah. And it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. And I know this is a counterculture, but as far as radio music goes and pop music goes and so forth, um, those songs are produced to entice and create positive rapport between the artist and the listeners and that's why they get promoted to the degree they do and advertised to the degree they do. They wouldn't be able to do that if the song was about, oh I don't like you, 
you're the worst, blah de blah. No radio station is going to be plugging that sort of stuff because it's not going to, you know, people are going to listen to that, people are going to want to listen to that if they're driving off to work or doing this and that. You know what I mean? I know it's punk music and counterculture, but there are still foundations of lyric writing which can be, you know, considered when it comes to it. Anyway, I digress. I know I annoy a few people when I go off on a tangent, but uh, I just feel it's necessary because it, you know, I don't like to hear it too much. So let's move on to the next track. <laughs> 